How's all done? It's Barry here again. I'm going to head out towards this bottle dump I was at last day. See how we get on. I've just finished work, so I'm going to squeeze a couple hours in. See if we can find anything interesting. It's certainly dark in here now, that's for sure. It's another cracking day. I was out yesterday uh, with Mark across the his dump in Glasgow. Uh, that's quite a good one, actually. I've got a few good bottles. You'll see his video, he's probably going to upload that in the next day or two. Uh, so I thought I'd get out the day again, do a couple of hours myself. It's more of a, a workout to be honest. It feels good after you've you've put a couple ton in. Uh, so that's me as you can see I'm walking to my, my tip right now. That's me here. There's my whole way at the back there. I'm standing on top of Mark's. Let's see what we get. It's the last day, it was quite active with the uh, stoneware, but I never got nothing full right enough. But today hopefully I'll I'll pick up something nice. So we'll see. Uh, muck this thing out first. Dear me. I might just go home. <laughs> Maybe that's me. I had to jump out there. This whole bank has just caved back into the hole. So my plans are now, as you can see, I've took a bit of capping away here. Maybe a metre and a half, maybe a metre and a half. I've got to go out just a wee tad further in my bag there. Take that heap in. Then I'm going to go down here and chuck all my crap back in there. Cave all these bankings in, then I'll pull all my heaps in. I'll pull all that back in the hole at the end. And hopefully that should all level off, just the way I'm on it. But yeah, I think I've got a good few digs here anyway. I'm not going to stay much longer. I'm only wasting an hour or so. Uh, the finds what have came up so far. A load of your usual blank bottles. A you know, big, big blank there. A few wee ponds jars with the ponds written on the edges. I might take them home. Bicerating magnesium tablets. Shield hall. That'll be your coffee. Essential coffee. Or James Haddo. But it's chipped. I've got another beer. Where's the other beer? There it's there. Robert Young, Edinburgh. The original cork in it. The amount of these jars I've pulled out and it's got a little dink in it. I'll just chuck that back in the hole. A big pickling jar. I don't know if that's for poison, but it's ribbed. And it looks to be like a frosted glass, aqua. Nice stoneware. Wouldn't be a dig without it. It's actually that little link though. Well, that'd have been nice if it came up whole. Strategy of ginger beer, another ginger beer with Dunfermline. Got a big bed warmer, your usual pipes, all in this here. It's good, imagine that if that came up. Poisons, and another big shed, another big poison bottle. But yeah, that's about it really, not much came up. Yeah, apart from that, claps in there. Uh, Let's start going down again. That's me ready. That's me on the, the layer. It's not a really shallow cap in here. As you can see, you're only going down eight inch and bump right into the first layer. So yep, let's get her felt. I think we're going to make this a short one. Uh, it's hammering down. Absolutely hammering down. You seen it in the walk in. It was beautiful, but not. Nah. The weather's changed, hailstones, a bit of thunder in the sky. Ugh. I've only started getting done through that layer I was showing you last year, Tane. I've just started taking things out. There's another stoneware ink. Cinderella shoe itself. A big jam jar. A wee California fig syrup. What have we got here? Uh seconds, Edinburgh. Synthetic tonic. Oh, we've got coffee essential. What does that say on that side then? But yeah. What a miserable day it's done it. Absolutely soaking to the bone in the space of two minutes. 
Oh. Why do we do this, eh? Why do we do this? But for next time anyway, we're going to have a, a good start. At least I've made a start. I've started to backfill this hole now. Just make it a bit less dangerous in case something or somebody falls into the hole. Highly doubt it, but just in case. I don't see it getting any nicer. It's just clouded over. Never mind. I might give it another 10 minutes. I think it's fair to say this rain is not going to stop the day. No way. Anyway. That's me for the day, I've taken myself down another few feet here. Good positioning for next time. Yeah, what came up there? A couple of... That's Alawa, that's a cod. A broken cod. There's another one, a broken cod. Greenock. Broken Robert Bars. That's the earlier bottle. Falkirk bottle. Falkirk. Uh, this little beer here came up. What is this? It's a Thompson Falkirk Airdrie Dry Start in Newcastle. Another couple of bottles. Blank. Blank. Never mind. Like I say, it's not too bad just for mucking out a hole. I'm going to keep a few of them. I keep the stonewares. I keep that poison. I think this beer here has got a crack down it, so I'll just I'll leave it on the surface. Somebody might want it. But yeah, not too bad going for literally what an hour, an hour and a half tops. So you can see what's happening here. You can see where I'm going with this. This hole here back fills that hole. That comes in, levels that off. I'm going to maybe work my way towards Max Hole. And then I've got another little hole over here I started just as a tester before I've done this big one. So I'm going to join them all up. Anyway, I'm going to put all my rubbish back in the, the hole. A few spadefuls of muck over it. And that'll do it. That'll do it for another day. So that's me. Enough's enough. Soaking wet. That's the sun coming back out as well. Typical. I've just walked past the usual pasture. It's not a pasture anymore. Yeah, so I might go and chat the farmer, see what the crack is, see if I can get a bit of permission. Uh, the idea of my page, I don't really know. I'm just uh, enjoying doing a bit of bottle digging, so I'm no film it. Uh, I've got tons of land, metal detecting, so come September onwards, I'll be doing a lot of metal detecting. I literally have fields upon fields, Roman, medieval, Victorian, Georgian, Edwardian, you name it. So I'm looking forward to the times, but up to now, you could probably go out detecting in the woods or uh, down the beaches or what have you. But aye, so that's my hunt for the day. I don't know if you've followed Mark for Treasure Hunt in Scotland, but if you do, we put a two-hole epic in yesterday. Uh, and he put a three-hole, I don't know what's going on. He put three holes in yesterday, so I'm a bit tired, a bit sore, so I'm going to call it quits at that. If you want to jump over uh, and see it, you can go and see it. I'd say he's got a dump over in Glasgow, I quite enjoyed. I'm going to revisit with him, probably going to do a lot more metal detecting with him as well. And probably a lot more of you guys I've met up with uh, the Bigfoot Digger as well, briefly one day. So I'll invite him over, we'll do some uh, films with him as well, so it should be fun. So, till next time, I'm off.